Hello, I'm Scott Somerville coming to you live from Kauai. I'm at Hanalei Bay. It is April 22nd, 2015, 9.13 in the morning, like 75 degrees. Perfect day to talk about sales training. We're talking about what you can learn from copywriters. Now, copywriters are people who put ads together and it's salesmanship and print. And one of the things that they're really good at is they get the person at the very end to the next step where they're called to action, a CTA as they like to refer to it as. The call to action is to tell them what to do. So like, it'll normally say something like, it's really easy to get started. Just pick up the phone and call 1-800 and then they give the number and then they, they make it very specific. And ask for Lisa until you wanna use promo code number 331. And you know, they go through and they say, here's what you need to do. So one of the things is the more specific that that call to action is and you're able to explain what to expect, the easier it is for that person to visualize what's going on in their mind. Because remember, one of the videos is to paint the picture of ownership and paint the picture of what's going on. So your call to action should be very specific and should explain all the steps that are going on and what's going to happen. And, and so that person like in their mind has no doubt at this point. Because you got to remember like sales, the term sales funnel is one thing, but sales is like a funnel. It goes down and your job is to get them all the way to the point. So there's no other information and right here you ask them the question and they either say yes, no, or they give you no objection. That's it. There's no more information to, to deliver. And one of the things that copywriters have to know is they have to know all this information that they have is in the funnel and it funnels down and then all of a sudden they have like the last thing to do which is the call to action. Here's what you need to do. So like if it's an infomercial, it's really easy. Just pick up your phone and call 1-800. Operators are standing by and if the operators are busy, call back later, which is a form of social proof, right? Because if there's a bunch of people calling, it means that there's a bunch of people who want the product or service. Now in print, it's gonna be, it's really easy to get started. Just pick up the phone and call Lisa or go to the website. Type in, here's the website you type into. Type in promo code number 331. But salesmanship is really good because they have to, they take all that attention, they focus all the attention. They've had a really good offer that grabbed attention, they pulled the person in, the person like is reading, they can believe in the ownership, they feel like what's going on, they get to the end, and you know what's, no, nothing's worse than going through an entire sales presentation and getting all the way to the end and then losing the person. In the world of internet sales, that's called cart abandonment. And cart abandonment is not good because that means that you've gone through a process and something wrong happened down here at the bottom towards the end of the funnel where it created an issue for you, okay? So do what you can, learn from copywriters and know that a good call to action, a good telling them the next step, paint that picture of ownership and what it's gonna be like as you go through. So if you're sitting on you'll be like, Scott, I don't know how to use this in my product or my service. And I'm gonna go, you know what? All right, let's figure this out. So take your product or your service, and as soon as they sign the, the, the contract or the agreement, what are the next 10 steps? What are the next 10 things that happen? You're like, well, I don't know if I wanna do that. Well, you know what, then don't ask me how do, I do, how do I do it if you're not gonna do it. So take the next 10 steps and write them down. So then what you do in your presentation is you say, hey, look, here's the thing. Once we do paperwork, when we do paperwork, not if, once we do paperwork, when we do paperwork, here's the 10 steps that are gonna happen, and then at the end say, it's really easy to get started, I just need a check, I just need a driver's license, I just need a credit card, we just need to figure out the date. Because they painted the picture in their mind, at that point there's nothing else to talk about, because it's gone down in the funnel, and the funnel like right here at the bottom, the drip is the cash that you get, called commission, right? That drip is like, here's my commission, I'll take my check, okay? So do what you can to figure out how you're gonna ask for the sale, get them to the next step, because the next step is just telling them what they gotta do. The next step's really easy, just fill out this form. The next step's really easy, just give me a credit card. The next step is really easy, let's set an installation date. The next step is really easy, let's find a, a good day for you to come pick up the, the, the product once it's delivered, okay? Now, take the time, figure out how you make it work for yourself. You could do a small favor for me in the box down below. Watch, I'm gonna give you a call to action right now. If you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that would be fantastic. That's one call to action. To the right or to the left, there is a subscribe button. Subscribe, that's the second call to action. The third thing is send it out to all your friends via stumble upon Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and LinkedIn. That's the third. Scott Sylvan Bell, only Scott Bell. Sylvan Bell, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Coming to you from Hanalei Bay, Kauai. I had to remember where I was at. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.